What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, we are back here in the garage with another vehicle to work on today. This one might not be too bad, but it might, you know, be a little difficult. I'll show you what we have. It's a 2022 Land Rover, and there's a pretty good shot right here in the door. Um, it is an aluminum panel, and it's in there pretty good. It's, it's pretty deep. I think there's plenty of access in there. I think what we're going to do is just go right down through the window. I don't think there's a need to take the door panel off on this one. It does have that double-paned glass, so we're going to have to be careful with that. If we're cranking on it too much, um, we might have to take the door panel off. But... We'll get started on this. We'll, we'll heat it up again. With it being aluminum, it's gonna wanna walk around and move around. So we'll get some heat on it and just start working it, taking it slow, trying to get out that deepness and try not to have that aluminum walk all over the place. These are a little difficult to work on just because the panel is such a big panel. So it's such a large flat area you can kind of see every little imperfection when you stand back. So it'll be a little difficult getting to the fine tuning stage. Getting out the deepness won't be too bad, but making it look really nice could be a little difficult. But we'll take you through, us, take you through the process as we normally do with us and uh, we'll see how this thing turns out. So let's do it. So you can see that dent is right under that sound ending mat there. You can kind of see it. We might have to mess with a little bit of that edge, but I think we can get this dent just by going down through the window here.
Okay, we're getting it. It's coming out nice, just taking it slow, heating it up. Um, I'll show you in the video what happens when you heat it up. What I was talking about before, how aluminum walks around and moves around when you work it, especially with heat too. I'll, I'll put it in the video how when you heat it up with a heat gun, a lot of the deepness comes out. So it's kind of hard to work aluminum that way because when you heat it up, you know, all the, the deepness and the shallow like areas kind of like shrink together. And then when it cools off, it shows again. And I'll show that in the video, but we're getting on the dent. It's above or it's above that bracing in there, as I showed before, and it's under that um, little sound deadening mat. So we're getting on it. It's just that the tool keeps wanting to slip off. It's kind of half under the bracing and 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 not so when you're prying off the bracing sometimes it wants to slip off so it's kind of hard to fine tune the area but i'll show that heat in the video right okay now. so we're going to put the heat gun on it right now and you'll see when i'm heating it up i'll put it in like a maybe a four time speed and you'll see how that shallow area right around here will just release so we're going to get started So you can see how that whole deep area kind of worked out and when it's cooling off it'll slowly shrink back down and that's what i was talking about when you're working that area if if you heat it up you know the deepness goes away so when you're looking to work certain areas with your tool you can't really tell where to work so it's almost like you have to heat it up let it cool down work the area heat it up let it cool down it's it's kind of awkward to work with but we'll keep going and uh get this thing done let's do it All right, we are all finished up. It came out really nice. Um, it was a bit of a pain, you know, with it being aluminum and, you know, having that move around, heating it up, cooling it down, but we just did the process, you know, just getting in those low spots, working them up, heating it up, letting it cool down, seeing where those little low areas are that we can like, you know, work back to where it should be. Um, it was also a pain with the bracing. The, the way the tool didn't want to stay under the bracing, it kind of kept wanting to slip off. That's just something you kind of have to fight around and deal with, you know, maybe try to switch up tools to get a be better leverage on it, but it came out. I'll show you the results here. Everything looks really good. And as I mentioned, it's hard to make these panels totally flat, but you can see there's not even a shimmer or a wave or anything like that it it's tough when you have such a flat you know big panel it shows every little bit every little imperfection but this came out really nice i think the customer is really going to be happy with it um i'm happy with the results it, it's you know one of those ones where when you're taking the job on you you don't know what you're going to get into with that um that could be a total nightmare or it's not too, too bad. This wasn't too, too bad. Um, there are a couple other dents. When he dropped it off, he was saying there might be a dent somewhere else on the panel, and we couldn't see it outside, but when we got it inside, it's actually 
right around this area right here. So we'll probably take that out. On the left rear door, there's a little dent, so we'll take that out for him to make sure the car is back to the way it should be, looking good. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you can, like, subscribe to the channel. We'll do more videos, and we'll catch you next time.